Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. How are you guys doing today? I have an Amazon package that I want to open. It's nothing crazy awesome, but I will share it with you. I'm just going to grab my scissors because I don't want to give anybody any like Melly Machete heart attacks today. All right. I'm going to snip this open. I know it's in the package, and I'm really excited about it. And I am unboxing it on top of this diamond painting that I had just finished kitting up earlier. And, uh, yeah. So, <sighs> exciting. Okay, so, this is a Scotch Expressions. 10 roll glitter tape multi-pack. Now, if you've been around for any length of time, you know that I struggle with my washi tape. I have threatened to fire my washi tape um, because it don't do its job, right? Don't do what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's constantly rolling up on me and not doing what it's supposed to do when it comes to um, like getting my canvas ready to be sectioned off. Oh my goodness. How pretty is that? That's a, like an excellent, um, packaging and like display. I love it. So you can pull them out of the box here and we have some silver. And we have some green. Pretty. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Blue. And we have purple. Purple, purple. Ooh, fancy. This one here is black. And, ooh, this one's pretty. This one is like a... Oh, shoot. I hope you can see it. It's like a pearl. Kind of reminds me of like an AB. <laughs> uh, and then we have some gold, some orange, red, and the last one is pink. So, very nice. So, anyway, I just wanted to share this unboxing. Now, I, I will tell you that. Um, Abigail Marie uh, actually shared this with me because she, I kept griping about my washi tape not working. And she's like, you got to get the Scotch brand. And she really likes her glitter ones because um, you can match them, you know, with your canvas. So that's kind of what I decided to do. So I'm going to link this um, set of washi tape in the description box below for you to grab yourself if you need some good washi tape, okay? And I'm going to go ahead right now and section this off with my washi tape. And then um, that way you guys can kind of see. So let's pick a color or maybe two colors, huh? One, two. I say we go with... Um, I say we go with the pink and the green. What do you think? Should we go with the pink and the green? Or should we go with the pink or the green and the blue? Or the pink and the blue? Okay. I don't know which one to help, help me decide. I, I need, what do I want? I think I will go with, um, let's go with the pink and the blue. That's what we'll do. Pink and blue, pink and blue, pink and blue. And I just dropped some in the floor. In the floor. In the floor. Uh, let me grab that. Okay. So, I'm going to open this up something to, well, I guess I could stab it with my scissors, right? 
Yeah, stab it with the skizzers. And then we'll see how we like it. The washi tape that I have is like thinner, like half the size of that, half the half the width of this. It's like like half, you know. But um it also doesn't have very much on the rolls. So this is nice and thick, and then it's also got quite a bit. You can see it's got quite a bit on the roll there. So that's nice. Just gonna stick this through here. Try not to stab myself. Try being the operative word there. Oh. I'm hoping the glitter doesn't like come off on my fingers because that would suffocate me. I can't stand glitter that like comes off of stuff. Okay, so got that off of there. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Just open it up. So I hope you guys are uh, having a great start to your week. Um, I also hope that you are um, participating in Palantine 2021. The event that Mindy and I are having started February the 1st. Um, so, we're really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you missed the details, I will be sure to put the link to my announcement video in the description box. Yeah, there's a lot of washi tape on these rolls. So that's awesome. See how much is on there? That's a lot of washi tape. Okay. So I'm going to um, section this off here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing find the end of it and that's not rubbing I'm not having any glitter rub off on my fingers so that's awesome found the end of it right here and it is very sticky that's good yeah that's sticky see that's like sticky washi tape that's nice okay so I'm going to um Probably just run down the center. And I'm not like ever like super. Um, I'm never like really like precise, like measure anything out or anything like that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> so that's just how I roll. Oh, yeah. I love this washi tape. Much, much, much love it. Okay. So, I got that one on there. <laughs> and then we have... Um, and that's about halfway. of Halfway across the diamond painting. And then I'm going to do another section here. And then I'll do another section on the other side. Okay, let me move some stuff out of the way so I don't uh, knock things over. Okay. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not like trying to, like I said, get it to be perfect or anything like that. I'm just eyeballing to try to get it um, as close to even as I can without 
actually measuring it. And yay, that stuff does tear too. Instead of having to cut it, you can just tear it. So that's nice. But it sticks really well to the plastic. What I, what I have issues with is it like tends to like curl up on me or roll up on me. And I hate that. Okay, so I have my rows across. You can see that. I can't get my... Um, yeah, I have my dino painting that I've been working on under there. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the pink to go across. Yeah, this is super sticky washi tape. I love it. Love it. Okay. So, I'd say I work on squares about as big as a release paper. So, I mean, they're just going to be, you know, like the size of my hand or something like that. Something that I know is, like, pretty manageable for me. So, I'll just go across. Yeah, none of the glitter's coming off of my hands. I love it. You don't know what good washi tape is until you actually get some, yo. That's the truth. That's the truth. Okay, now I'm gonna do another section here. My light pad came on. It's under the, it's under the other. <laughs> canvas. Oh, uh, well. Okay. Got that one on there. Now, I'll go up a little bit more and do another one here. Some squares are bigger than others. If you are really like OCD and can't handle that, then just do the same thing, but measure out your sections I'm I'm like me I don't have to do that so I don't want to take the time to do it so I love this washi tape it's good stuff all right so um and then after I section it what I usually do like you can see look how different this size is this square versus this square like this one is like more square and this one's like a bigger square but that's okay they're both manageable for me so that's the whole idea. But what I do when I get ready to work on it, let me try to get that scooch down a little bit. So what I do when I try to work, get ready to work on it, is I'll just pull up from the corner and lift it up like this all the way across on that bottom row. Okay. And then what I do is Take a pair of scissors and just cut it down the middle of the tape. It's not even, but that's okay. Now, I know Abigail uses like two rows of tape on hers that comes downward, um, but I just use the one because it's plenty wide enough for me, I guess. You just have to be careful when you get to that edge that um, you don't cut into your canvas with your scissors or your knife or whatever you're using, like a craft knife or something. So that's the big thing you wanna watch out for. I'll lay it back down on me. Let me pull it back up here. Sometimes I cut it from the other side so I can get more of it at one go. But that's it right there. And then I have all my sections I can work on. And um, I can work on one, you know, square at a time. And then whenever I get to this section, I'll do the same thing. I just cut right through there and then cut up the sides. So, voila easy peasy.
anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me turn this light pad off if I can find the right. There we go. So anyway, thank you for joining me um, for this little washi tape unboxing and sectioning off of my Palantine 2021 canvas. Um, like I said before, I will again put the link to the official announcement video that I shared in the description box below and then you can go and look at it if you'd like to. But basically, all you got to do to join is... Um, Pick a canvas that you want to do that reminds you of a friend um, or friendship. Maybe it's a picture of, like this one, is a little girl. And she's an assistant, but she has her little friends here to help her. There's a butterfly here behind that. And then down here is a little snail. And um, those are her friends that are assisting her in her job, so to speak. So anyway... It could be anything like that, right? Um, if your canvas has some animal friends in it, or if it's, you know, just even if it just reminds you of a friend. Say you have, say, you know, this little girl in this canvas reminds you of um, a friend of yours because she's an assistant or because she's bossy or, you know what I'm saying? Just anything like that. That, um, if you have, if someone give, if a friend of yours gave you a canvas, that could be, that would work. I mean, any, you can make just about anything work. We really just want people to participate and have fun and enjoy Palantine, like our gal pals, you know. Um, so that's what we're celebrating in fe February is friendship. So anyway, thank you guys for um, checking out the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up before you head out the door and skedaddle and then make sure if you're new here to subscribe and hit the notification bell ding 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 to get notified the next time i upload another video and i will talk to you guys very very soon have a great day bye bye